very good day to my fellow YouTubers. This video is brought to you by Tech Fortress. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install and use the open source version of Deepfakes app, which is Facefall. All the source code for this app can be found in this Git page. Firstly, let us clone this repository and save it to the system by clicking on the download zip. I will be pasting the link for the page in the description below. To run this app, you will need Python 3.6 and install a whole bunch of dependencies. Now, let us download all the required files. Firstly, let us download CUDA Toolkit 9.0. You can find the links in the description below. You will also be needing NVIDIA CUDA Deep Neural Network Library 7.1. You need to sign up to NVIDIA Developer Program to download it. I will be creating a torrent file with all the dependencies to run this app. You can find it in the description below. Next, you need to download Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. Now that we have downloaded the required files, let us start the installation process by installing Python 3.6. I'll be using Miniconda 3.6 package which will ease up the installation of Python 3.6 and its dependencies. Let us download and install it. To check whether the python has been installed successfully, you should open the command prompt and type python space hyphen hyphen version. Then execute this command by pressing enter, which should show the installed python version. Now that we have installed the python 3.6, let us install the rest of the downloaded files. First, let us install CUDA 9.0 in dispatches. Please follow the installation process as shown in the video and pause whenever required.
Now that we have installed CUDA 9.2 and its patches, let us install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. To install CUDNN 7.1, you need to extract CUDNN zip and copy the contents to the following address. Which is C drive, program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA 9.0. Now open bin which is in the extracted folder and copies contents to the bin folder present in 9.0. Similarly, do the same for the files present in include and lib folder. Now that we are done with CUDNN, let us extract the facewap hyphen master folder and keep it aside. Now let us install the Python dependencies. The first dependency I will be installing is dlib. You can download the dlib.whl from the link provided in the description below. Go to the download location, place the mouse pointer in the empty space, hold shift on the keyboard and press right mouse button. Then press on the open powershell window here. This opens the PowerShell window in the downloads directory. Now type pip space install space dlib and click on tab. This will give the total file name and click enter to install it. Now go to facewap hyphen master folder, open PowerShell window at the location by holding shift on keyboard and clicking right mouse key and type in pip install hyphen r then type req then click tab thrice till you get python 36 CUDA 9.txt at the end and click enter. This will install all the required dependencies. Next, we need to install OpenCV. 
This can be done by typing in conda space install space opencv. The final dependency we need to install is NumPy. This can be installed by typing in pip space install hyphen u space and umpy. Now that all the dependencies are installed, let us test if the facefab program is working properly by typing in python space facefab.py space hyphen h. This shows all the available commands. You can see that there are four available commands. To get further help of these commands, you can type in python space facewap dot py space train hyphen h. This shows all the available commands under train feature. If you people are comfortable with graphical user interface, you can type in python space facewap dot py space gui. This GUI shows all the features which are similar to Fake App version 2.2. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, do consider buying me a coffee. For all generous donations of 5 cups or more, I shall make a video for them as a token of appreciation. You can find the link for donation in the description below. For getting future updates on how to use this app and my other videos, please do subscribe.